Hi, if you're considering getting an umbrella stroller, I have a great option for you. It's the McLaren Bello. It is not cheap, so I'm gonna show you all the features and why ultimately this seemed like a good purchase for our family. It has a nice locking sunshade that is treated, so if some rain gets on it, it just beads and falls right off. It has a reversible pad, which you can also take out, and there's just a mesh backing. Since it seems like we're at zoos and parks the most when it's warm, we tend to do the breathing thing. Now, it has a bunch of different places where you can put straps, which come with it. They're stored down here. So we don't use them because our child is large and doesn't need them. But if you decide not to use them, they're still attached so you won't stick them in a drawer and forget where you put them. But then you don't have to use them if you don't want them. It also comes with this great rain shelter. So you just kind of shake it out, you put it on, you attach it on the sides, and as I mentioned, this part up on the top is pretty much going to sheet rain anyway, but this, in case the rain is blowing, it'll keep your kid pretty dry. And then when you're done, you can just fold it up and store it. Now the biggest thing for me is the one-handed operation. You hear about one-handed strollers all the time, and I've never had one before, even when I said it was. This is pretty large, I was skeptical, but you kick up on this part, push down on this part, and then you push down, and that's it, one-handed, and then it also locks in on itself. So it's super easy. this strap so you can just put it on your back show you can just put it on your back and walk now if you have a backpack it's kind of a challenge but it's nice if you're at a mall and you get to a escalator you can just pop it on your back and go and then to unlock it there's this one thing right here you just go like this shake it step on this little thing and it's locked now it has brakes on the back. You just step on it once to break it. There is storage down in the bottom, just a little. If you put too much, your kid's gonna feel it. But unlike some strollers, it's not open at the front, so you don't have to worry about your stuff falling out. Then this has a small pocket, but it's really only good for brochures, maybe a cell phone. Because again, if your kid's big and sitting back on it, they're gonna feel that. One of the criticisms of the stroller is that it does not come with a cup holder, but you can purchase one online. It attaches and unattaches really easily. To move it, you just pop it up and out. It's best to have it sideways, just because if you have it toward the back, it's gonna be hard to carry once you fold this up. We've had this for just over a year. As you can see, the wheels are a little bit bigger than the average just Walmart umbrella stroller. They are sort of soft. They're solid, though. Um, and even though you really can't take umbrella strollers over gravel, I found that this does not get stuck on sidewalk seams like a lot of umbrella strollers do. Um, there's a little footrest for your child. And then one thing that I really like is that this is tall enough, it is not adjustable. This is as tall as it gets in terms of the handles, but it's angled enough that whereas I am a slightly tall person and very often found myself kicking umbrella strollers, I don't kick this one. Again, this is the strap to put this on your shoulder. This is the strap to put your arm through in case you're going down the hill or something and are afraid you're gonna maybe have to let go and lose control of this.
A couple of accessories we have that I would highly recommend. First of all is this fan. You charge it with a USB charger, and which it comes with, and it also comes with a regular plug adapter. And then because of how sturdy this is, you can put it on here, you face your child, you turn it on, and so even if you're like at a theme park on a really hot day, it's probably the best place to put it. Then they can get some direct airflow, and it's super comfortable. They'll be a lot more comfortable than you are. Finally, we have this stroller bag to take on airplanes. It's canvas. The inside is lined. It is water resistant. So if it, rains, if it gets rained on the outside, it's not going to get your stroller wet. If your stroller wheels are muddy, then you can just put it in this and put it in your car and you won't get mud in your trunk or in the back of your SUV. That's one of my favorite things about it. It opens all the way up and lays flat, so it's really easy to put the stroller in. You can also do it on the go in the back of your car. Just a couple more thoughts. We've owned our Volo stroller for about a year and a half. The reason I needed an umbrella stroller was so it would be convenient for travel. But most umbrella strollers hold a maximum of 35 pounds, and my child has always been pretty big. So even when he was three, he was too big for a lot of umbrella strollers. And I figured if we're gonna buy a stroller when my kid is three already, which is pretty old, I want it to last a long time so we can get a lot of use out of it. And it's big enough that a larger kid can fit in it comfortably. Also, it's maneuverable even with a heavier child in it. Like I said, some of the other umbrella strollers, the heavier the child is, the harder it is to push, especially if you're on terrain that's not glass smooth. This is by far the most expensive stroller I've ever owned. I have a 17 year old and an almost five year old. So we've gotten rid of all the original strollers I had, which was a car seat system and then a jogging stroller slash bike trailer and then an umbrella stroller. And then when my younger child was younger, we just had a fold in half stroller because we didn't need to push the car seat very often. But this is more expensive than any of those was. And so to justify that, I needed to make it last a long time. I needed it to be solid and I needed it to really perform. And this does on every level. There's nothing I can think of that I would complain about about it. I said I didn't have any complaints. The one thing that it does not have that other strollers may have is that there's not a tray table or cup holder for the child. So it's really ideal if either your kid doesn't eat or drink in the stroller or they are big enough to reliably hold their own snack or hold their own drink without dropping it. Now, there's, the seat's big enough that you can put a drink, like wedge it in between the kid and the side of the seat, and it's hammocked enough that it'll hold it pretty well. I wouldn't do it with an open cup, but with a cup with a lid or a sippy cup, it's great. So that would be probably the only thing I would say is that if you're used to putting Cheerios in a tray in front of your kid in a stroller, you can't do that. Some people may object to having a stroller for an older kid because they think, well, by the time a kid is four or five years old, they can just walk everywhere. And that's true, but I enjoy the zoo. I enjoy theme parks. I enjoy sometimes walking around the mall far longer than my child does. And so when we're out like that, it is nice to give them the option to sit down and drink something and just chill out because I feel like it's easier to handle things that you think of as discipline or training when you're home in a comfortable environment and you can call it off if you need to in the middle of it. Um, I'd much rather do that than spend time in a place where I just spend a whole lot of money to be um, trying to figure out how to get my kid to move, <laughs> you know, and then you're not setting anybody up for success. And so that is why we decided that a stroller for an older child would be a worthy investment. And so far it's proven true. We used it at Disney World. Like I said, we've used it at the mall, at zoos, at uh, larger multi-acre museums and outdoor things. And even just to walk around the neighborhood when I really want to, but my kid's not in the mood. So um, we've taken it to the library and you can put books in it on the way home. It's just it's been very versatile, we like it. 
if you have the 200 bucks ish to spend on a stroller you i don't think you can go wrong with this one we have the dylan's candy bar design because i really like the rainbow and i like candy and i really i loved the rain guard with all the fun things on it when we were at Disney World and it would rain. My kid loved seeing the candy. And sometimes we'd just say, can I see the candy, Mom? And I wouldn't put it up when it wasn't raining because we needed the airflow. It was so hot, but he loved it too. The special edition design, however, made it $50 more than a regular stroller, which I couldn't justify. So I just planned early enough that I was able to wait and wait and wait. And eventually that design went on sale. So. If you see one that strikes your fancy but it's like the 50th anniversary edition or something i don't know that is more expensive just because it's limited edition keep waiting by the time i got mine it was probably at least a year old and so it went on sale the same price as the rest of them and i hopped on it you should hop on it too thanks for watching hope it's helped